Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to combine bar chart with the line chart in SSRS report. We'll prepare our data, then we'll create the these charts, and finally we'll combine them and we'll show the data labels for those charts. So let's go ahead and take a look on our query. So we have region and item sales from the total sale table. Region will be used as category and item sold will be used as values. So let me copy this query. Go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and then go to the Reports tab. Right click and add and new item. Select the report here and then provide the name. So in this case I'm going to call this one Combine Two Charts. Add. It will create empty report. Now in the data sources, right click add data source and here you provide the name of data source. I'm going to call this one DS sales and I will be using my shared data source that's pointing to the database which has the total sales table. So if you see here, this is sales database and this table is existing under sales database. So that's good. Now we hit OK and go to the uh, data set add data set data set is the result set returned by your query so we call this one d set sales and then it's going to be embedded select the data source provide your query here okay now go to the design surface right click and insert and then select the chart the very first thing what we would like to select we will select the column chart so select the column and the first one is the column chart so hit OK. Now move your chart and make it a little bigger so we can see the things clear. And uh, double click here. Once you click here, you will see the chart data uh, window. Here we will be adding uh, the items sold because those are the values we will be using. Uh, and uh, then for the categories uh, A, B, C, D, we want to replace them with our region. So add region. and. Uh, these height of these bars is going to be the sum of items sold. So these are the number that kind of on y axis that shows us. Um, and uh, we can see like how tall or how high these bars are. So let's go ahead and preview the report right now. As of now, we have created the column chart. And uh, this is for Asia, we can see that the value is 10, the total items sold are 10. For Europe, I don't really know it is 19 or 18. Uh, but uh, it is close to 18 or 19 and then for North America it is uh, above 10 but I can tell it is 12 or 11 or 13 so it is a good idea to show the data on these bars or columns so I'll click here and right click again change sorry show data labels now this will display the actual numbers for items sold and we can see that 10 is uh, for Asia 19 for Europe and 11 for North America that's great now we would like to have a line chart on top of that so it should connect these uh, columns or bars so let's go ahead and put that now go to the values in the data chart and then add the same uh, field again so in our case we were doing the item sold so we can select that and as you can see that now there are two items sold this one and this one and for both of them we see that it is a column chart signed right next to them and click on the second one right click on the second one and say change chart type once you are in the select chart type window go to the line and select the line here we have different types of line line we have a smooth line we have step line and we have a 3d line and a line with markers and smooth line with markers so select uh, any of them that you like let's uh, start with uh, this one uh, with the simple line and then we can change to another one hit ok and uh, preview your report and now you can see that uh, we have column chart and then we have a line chart so that's uh, also connecting them so let's go back and change the line type with the markers and see how that that will affect or look like so click on the item sold again and change chart type and here we will be selecting a smooth line with markers this time hit ok and uh, 
now you can say I see that it's much better you have those uh, uh, markers here and then we have smooth uh, line so that's how you will combine uh, your two charts uh, column chart and line chart uh, together thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in next uh, video